This tutorial is designed to show how we can run a regression analysis in Gretel. The regression we wish to run analyzes the impact of KI, which is the investment share, on real GDP. To run a regression, we select Model from our drop-down window and select Ordinary Least Squares, as we wish to run an Ordinary Least Squares regression. There's various other types of regression analysis available. So we have instrumental variables, nonlinear ones, and we have logits, probits, and so on. Firstly, we'll select ordinary least squares. We want to add our dependent variable, which is real GDP. And note that in the independent variable list, Gretel automatically adds a constant term. If we wish to remove this constant term from the regression, we simply select the constant and select remove. However, in this instance, we want to keep the constant term. We now want to add ki, which is our independent variable, to our model. And also we want to include lags in our equation. So when we select lags, we can see that we can lag ki by one time period up to three. So this will include three lags of ki, and we have no contemporous term. So the impact of ki on real GDP does not occur in the same time period. It occurs through the lags of t minus one to t minus three. If we wish to include lags of the dependent variable, we select it from here. Note that we must have added a variable to the independent variable window in order to add lags. If we select OK, we can see we have ki minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. To run our regression, we can now click OK. And we see that we get up our information here. The printout gives us ki, ki2, ki3. So essentially, this is lag 1, lag 2, lag 3. We have our p-values, which tell us our levels of significance. We have our t ratios, our standard errors. In this instance, we can see that none of the lags of ki have an impact on real GDP. Information on the regression is available here. We can see we have an R squared of 0.21, for instance. We can see we have an f value of 4.75. And we see we have a sum of square residual and the mean dependent variable. We have a lot of information available in terms of our actual printout. We also see we have the standard error of the regression available here, which may be useful in terms of forecasting confidence intervals and so on. If we want to run a subsequent regression, we can go again to our model, ordinary least squares, and let us say that this time we wish to run it for two lags of Ki. We simply select OK. We add a dependent variable and select OK, and we can see we run it with 2. And here we have model 2. So Gretel will save it as different command windows. That concludes this tutorial on running regressions in Gretel.